Hey there, quirky people. I am your host, Anna, and with the launch of the new Shazam 2 trailer, people are quite inquisitive about a couple of things. Apparently, this new story trailer showed a lot of what is coming for us. In fact, many viewers complained that the trailer spoiled too much. But right now, we're going to talk about the one particular reveal that left many netizens confused. Throughout the trailer, we see the whole Shazam family sporting new suits. They had different suits in the previous film. But now, they've all got sleekier designs with a bit of more texture added to the fabric. And Black Adam showed us that with these godly powers, any individual could design suits for themselves. Born out of rage. So in this case, the whole Shazam family chose to change the designs of their suits. But why does Shazam have a black suit by the end of the film? Is he going rogue, or will he inspire his look by Black Adam? Well, Black Adam does exist in this universe by the time Shazam 2 comes out, but I don't think he has anything to do with Shazam's black outfit. Maybe if DC was run by a different studio with a more consistent management right from the beginning, Black Adam could have had a bigger connection with Shazam. But it isn't the case with Fury of the Gods. First of all, let me tell you the external reason for the suit change. Shazam has a new black suit because it will help in selling more toys and merchandise. In fact, all of the Shazam family suits have been changed because of that particular reason. It is a common norm to keep changing super suits with every sequel because that's what drives the merchandise sales and makes things look fresh. So that's what's happening with Shazam and Fury of the Gods. But the story reason for Shazam's black suit is his tussle with the new villains. He is fighting two literal goddesses in the upcoming movie. Helen Mirren is playing Hespera and Lucy Liu is playing Calypso. These are two original DC villains created specifically for Shazam, Fury of the Gods. And they are coming in as the ill-intended daughters of the Greek god Atlas. He is one of the six gods who provides Shazam with his godly powers. Wisdom of Sun, the strength of Hercules, the stamina of Atlas, the power of Zeus, the courage of Archangels, and the speed of Mercury. So Shazam gets his never-ending stamina from the father of Hespera and Calypso and they are now angry that a child was chosen to hold the powers of the gods. They think that these foster children stole this power and they want these abilities for themselves. But as far as the blackening of the suit is concerned, it is possible that these are burn marks from the dragon that Billy fights. Or it could be from the two goddesses who will prove to be the antithesis for Shazam and his family. If you look closely, Shazam's suit only gets a small black spot at first. But then, the whole suit begins to blacken as he continues to take more damage from the two goddesses. Their magic could be working like kryptonite against him. So he continues to weaken as the story moves on. And by the third act, he just takes the full brunt of their might. His suit isn't fully black as we can still see that his legs are red. But the extent to which his suit has blackened shows how many attacks he has resisted. And even after that, he continues to fight so that his powers don't fall in the wrong hands of Hespera and Calypso. This is the reason why Billy Batson was chosen by the wizard. He is truly worthy to be Shazam. But sadly, Dwayne Johnson didn't think he was hot enough property. It would have been nice if Black Adam would have connected with Shazam, but The Rock didn't want anything to do with the Shazam movies. He even denied a cameo in Shazam 2, which would have set up a future battle. He just wanted Black Adam to fight Superman, and that's why Shazam wasn't even mentioned or teased directly in Black Adam. It was just Superman who showed up, but now these two versions of the characters would be battling nobody in the DC space. Both Henry Cavill and Black Adam have announced that they are out, and Fury of the Gods seems to be the final outing of Zachary Levi as Shazam 2. After this film, James Gunn is set to reboot the whole DCU and recast the roles of all major and minor DC characters. Who do you think should play Shazam in the new DCU? My pick is John Cena. It is likely that Cena will continue to work with James Gunn after sharing a strong friendship with him on Peacemaker. So, he could be recast into Shazam. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons. Goodbye, and I'll see you in the next one.